Fortunately, however, the Senate will first be confirming a thoroughly qualified nominee to be the new administration's top trade official. <clears throat> Catherine Tai is just the kind of qualified and mainstream person who is positioned to serve President Biden and the country uh, quite well. That's why she received broad bipartisan support from the Finance Committee and why the vote to advance her nomination yesterday was 98 to nothing. I look forward to working with Ms. Tai to embrace trade and push back on abusive practices from China and other anti-competitive countries. Trade is a huge strength of America. It drives job creation and economic growth. Just look at my home state, for example, Exports support more than 140,000 jobs in Kentucky. Hardworking Kentuckians supply nearly 200 countries with everything from agricultural goods to medicines to aerospace parts and motor vehicles. In the last Congress, we modernized our trade with our neighbors to the north and south through the USMCA. We gave Kentucky farmers, workers, and consumers a long-awaited boost. But our job creators still face unfair barriers, including those targeting American spirits. The bluegrass is proud to craft 95% of the world's bourbon, but currently tariffs put Kentucky distillers at a disadvantage in their largest export markets. Ms. Ty should address these unfair international headwinds facing Kentuckians, and I would encourage her to focus on expanding markets and reducing barriers for products and services from all 50 states. Americans would welcome the growth and opportunity and prosperity. And if you ask me, the whole world could benefit from a little more Kentucky bourbon. 